Now, when is a bone just a bone? It's become a custom for museums to be asked by indigenous communities abroad to return items they say have religious or cultural significance. But in the next few weeks, a crucial report is expected on whether ancient bones found in this country at Avebury in Wiltshire should be kept in a museum or reburied. Pagan groups claim a particular fondness for pre-Christian remains and their voices are being taken increasingly seriously in the once fusty old museum world. Madeleine Holt has been finding out why. Paganism is about being a part of nature. We care about what's beyond the mist in time and in space. We care about the bones of our ancestors because we're connected. It's as simple as that. Pagans are not used to being taken seriously. What's simple to them can seem pure hokum to others. But now at last they feel they're onto something arguing that bones in museum basements that could be pagan, in other words, pre-Christian, and have no scientific value, should be reburied out of respect for the dead. Emma restel Orr calls herself a druidical priestess. She, like other modern-day pagans, worships nature. For her, ancient bones are part of the landscape, so that makes them sacred. At the pre-Christian burial site, the Rollwright Stones, she explained why reburying human remains means so much to her. In pagan terms, it matters because of the cycle of life and death. When we return the bones to the soil, we're giving them back to the earth. It's now routine for museums in Britain to return human remains to indigenous populations such as Aborigines and Native Americans to be reburied. But with British remains, it's much harder to prove direct ancestry because the bones are usually just too old. And when it comes to pre-Christian remains, the sort of thing you might find here, there's no cohesive and continuous faith over time linking the ancient dead to the living. So why are museums now starting to accept that some British remains should be returned to the earth where they once lay? We went to Ipswich, where the town's museum is about to turn theory into practice and rebury bones that have been gathering dust in its cellar for years. It's pioneering work because there are very limited government guidelines on what to do about ancient British remains. Ipswich has 50 sets of bones earmarked for reburial. As is often the case, even after expert analysis, it's not clear exactly where they're from or even how old they are. So this is a lower leg bone that uh, is part of the collection. Philip Wise is masterminding the museum's reburial plans. But at the same time, we have to be very aware that these, are pe these were once people. The museum has been liaising with a local IT consultant who's also a pagan from a group set up by Emma Restall Orr called Honouring the Ancient Dead, or HAD. We feel um, a connection with these people through the fact that we exist in the same landscape. We're part of nature as they are. Uh, they probably saw the world in a similar way to us and uh, they need to be returned to their resting place as they intended originally. For Philip Wise, it's important to listen to the modern pagan viewpoint as much as any other, but his principal reasons for reburial are ethical and scientific. We need to be very clear why we're holding these human remains in our museum stores. What benefit do they have for modern society? What, what is their scientific uh, merit and if the answer to that question is in fact they add very little to the sum of our knowledge about past human societies then I think it's the the honest and honourable thing to do to seek to rebury them. Have you encountered any antipathy in, in your decision to have discussions with a group that describes itself as pagan? Had our, a very reasonable group of individuals there are, as there are in archaeology, that there are shades of opinion and there will be some people who are um, uh, much more um, perhaps traditional or conservative in their outlook. And there will always be some pagans who are more radical. 
At the Neolithic site of Avebury, one group is campaigning for the reburial of bones deemed by the government's advisory body, English Heritage, to be valuable for research. It's due to announce in the next few weeks what will happen to the remains, but its policy is to keep bones of scientific value. Yet deciding what's scientifically important is itself a minefield, because it's partly about assessing how technology may advance, enabling new information to be gleaned from bones in the future. The new techniques we've discovered, like ancient DNA, stabilizative work and so on, have given us such important new insights, and the rate at which we're making new discover discoveries about other techniques is such that quite clearly, uh, at the moment, we can't say that we've got to the end of this kind of discovery. I know there's a perception among some that perhaps you are especially cautious about what you decide to, to not rebury. We have to be fairly cautious because that's our job. We have to look out for future generations. But I think uh, we're not overcautious. The guidelines from English Heritage are to rebury remains of limited scientific worth. Skeptics want them to be bolder and say some pre Christian bones will never be of any use for research, in the hope more of them will then be returned to the soil. Whether they will ever admit that a fragment of human remains has any has no scientific value or not is, is open to debate. Um, I suspect because we're not basing scientific value on modern technology, but technology out into the in unforeseeable, indefinite future, uh, who could ever say what will happen in 500 years in terms of our technology? We could be living on Mars. Honouring the ancient dead has made inroads not just in calling for reburial, but on the need for ceremonies to match. Ipswich Museum is planning one. Why? Well, many of these bones that we're talking about probably originated in the Ipswich area. Therefore, in a sense, what we're doing is returning former members of the Ipswich community to the present community. So, sort of philosophically, uh, it seems the right thing to do. This is the sort of ceremony honouring the ancient dead favours, a reburial in Wiltshire three years ago. Local people devised their own rites, bringing honey and mead. A church elder led a non-denominational ceremony because, as usual, it was impossible to be sure of the faith of the dead. Emma Restall Orr was there. The whole community got involved. There were tears in the crowd, as if these people had died, you know, this year. Um, and that is really important. We are not trying to recreate something from the past. We don't know what the past would have been, um, and we can't pretend to. We're very likely to get it wrong. What we are doing is expressing how we, as a modern society, acknowledge the dead and pay our respects. Until now, Britain's modern pagans have felt they were the only people who cherished ancient bones. That their importance is now being embraced by a wider community is, they believe, proof that society is becoming more at ease with its ancestry. <laughs>